Well, hi everyone. This is Sony Artisan of Imagery and Singray Ambassador member Don Smith. And today I just want to give you guys a quick little tip that's kind of fun that you can do with uh, your smartphones. And that is to capture some 4K video. And I'm going to show you inside of Lightroom how to go about capturing a single frame of that video and processing it out just as uh, easy as if you would have taken a picture on your iPhone. Now this, this will transfer over, by the way, this technique to um, any of your professional cameras. And it's kind of a cool little thing that we do inside of Lightroom. So let's get started here. This was uh, sunset last night, actually, and I'm gonna roll this uh, video through. This was shot on my iPhone 11. Barry and I were in Monterey yesterday evening to have dinner out on the wharf. And after dinner, we just walked down behind the wharf and uh, I started to capture the screen and what's really, or this scene, what's really cool, this little harbor seal went along. So I'm gonna, let's see if we can get it just a little bit more where this front wave breaks here, if it does. Maybe right there, that looks a little more dramatic. And what I'm gonna do is show you how I can take this 4K capture and again, process it like it's a regular image. So let me first start with Lightroom Classic is really not meant to be a video editor, okay? But I just imported these uh, videos uh, similar to how I would import uh, any photo in Lightroom. I just clicked on add. I had first put them in a folder. I picked a couple of selects, put them in a folder on my desktop, and then went into the import module, went to desktop, found the folder, and imported them. So now I've come to the portion of the scene where I want to make my capture. So down here on the little scrubber line, if you click on this white box, you're going to see two choices. Now, set, po set uh, poster frame simply means if I was posting this, let's say, uh, on my social media or up to YouTube, I could have this as my poster frame and not allow the software to or YouTube to pick a poster frame. But we want to go here for the purpose of this demonstration, and we're going to click Capture Frame. But before we do, I want to direct your eye down here to the little uh, film strip. And when I click on it, you're going to see the capture come up right there. So let's hit Capture Frame. And there it is. And now I can click on this, and it is an actual JPEG. We can't get the raw footage. Um, I guess we could. Uh, but I was just rolling this in standard 4K 30 frames a second option on the iPhone 11. Now, here's the cool thing. If, if I was to come back over to the actual footage and it's reset itself, so let's just go out to about 22 seconds. We were somewhere in there. And I click develop. Because it's a movie, nothing's going to be active over here. In fact, it says video does not, is not supported in develop. But we've done a frame grab, right? which is right here. So when I click that, voila, you have all the options. And I would just, I'm just gonna do this really quickly. If you've been with me in the past, you know, we're gonna set a white, a black. Uh, let's take down those highlights, okay. Maybe bump up a little bit of contrast. And I could now uh, take this out to any third-party programs such as Skylum or On One or Topaz, whatever your favorite third-party uh, program is. Let's add a little vibrance here. Oops, I don't want to go over the top. Now, you got to remember, this is a JPEG. You don't have as much wiggle room as you would in the RAW. If you could record RAW footage, then certainly you could frame grab off of RAW footage and, you, and you'd have more room to... Uh, to come in here and play with the color balance. And I have I really don't like the color balance of this at all. I'm making a mess out of things. But there we go. That might look a little more, a little more natural here. Let me add a little blue back into the water. There we go. That's more of a, what we, we saw out there. It was right at sunset time, a beautiful clear night at the Monterey Wharf. So that's it. Um, I, one thing I want to point out, then this might hang you up. When you import, don't just stay on the import 
folder actually come down you can see I, I came down to my desktop folder and I found uh, Monterey 4k where uh, I, I put my three videos and now it has a fourth element which is the screen capture and um, let's 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 just go on this a little bit more I'm going to come down to effects and let's just see if we can just take a little bit of a vignette and pull it in uh, play with your heart's content. Okay, so that's the quick tip this morning. Hope you guys are all doing good. Stay creative. Hey, we all travel around with our smartphones. Most of you, if you have the newer smartphones, are going to have the 4K option. So just make sure you're in 4K. And uh, this is actually going to be a pretty beefy file. Let me do one more thing. We're going to open this up into Photoshop. I had actually done this demonstration a couple of years ago on a video. And I remember people writing me and, and they were going through all the math and they said, hey, that you can't, this is like a 500K file. Well, let's come right up to image and we're going to go to image size and at 300 DPI resolution, this is a 47.5 meg file. Now, that's a little deceiving because we're in 16 bit. So let's cancel out of this and let's go ahead and change it to 8 bit is what we would uh, output a, a source photo anyway and now come back up and check image size 23.7 that's not bad and if you guys were to use um, Topaz gigapixels oh my gosh I just did this the other day my son shot some uh, a, a clip of my other son and, and our daughter-in-law and, and our um, grandson Bradley on an iPhone 9 and it was beautiful and I came into gigapixels and I resed it up a little bit, just hit 2x. And we just sent that print out to Bay Photo Lab in Santa Cruz, California. And it came back and you would have thought it was done on a 60 megapixel camera. It was absolutely beautiful. The detail was stunning. So the software is here. Take advantage of it, you guys. Have some fun with those phones because it's what we have in our pocket all the time. And uh, keep shooting. Keep staying creative. Till next time, this is Don Smith. You take care.